Hello, my friends. It's your man, Cap Reveb. It's Thursday, 18th, 2021. The time is 10.37 a.m. I've been drawing this all morning. These red ellipses and these green ellipses, they represent lows and highs. Red means low, green means high. And these are the areas on the chart where for today, the uh, price level is gonna move. Um, I may have to adjust these last few ellipses as we move into that area of the day based on price levels, but I think I, I pretty much got it down. I'd like to narrow it down as we move closer. But this is what we're looking at. It's a bearish day for the most part, but we do have a sharp move at the end of the day. It may be too high for the day, or it may just be to a very significant crest on a one day chart. I do have two sharp declines in my view. Midday, one in the post market. I mean, there's a definite fake out of some sort some intentional fake out with a false indicator triggered around 11 40 to one o'clock but closer to the 12 o'clock area somewhere in that period of time though we're gonna have a hop higher to a high a sharp drop to a low and then the prudence card shows up it's a little difficult to interpret the prudence card until you really get to it but there is a sharp decline around the 2 p.m mark either that or that's a new low for the day around the 2 p.m mark and then we have it looks like a low around the 3 p.m mark follow 3 p.m to 3 30 but there's also a sharp move higher in that last hour especially near the close of the day we may even see the sun level being here that would really require a huge move at the end of the day. I'm not sure I'm confident that that's gonna happen, but there is a lot of indication of a high at the end of the day, so that remains to be seen. The big drops, really, because this is, the Virtue card is nullified, there's no association. These big drops here and here, they may just bring us back to the level that we had reached at the beginning of the day, rather than it taking us deeper. But again, that's really hard to determine at this moment in time. Sequence is always the easiest. Time frame next, price points after that, in most cases. I am gonna make this a bit deeper though. And I'd like to see what we're looking at over here on a 10 day chart. 436.27 is the level I'm curious about. No, actually it's further down than that. We already saw 436. 433 would be an interesting level. That's a possibility, but again, hard to determine based on price movement so far it would be nice to see that like i said we would have a drop and then probably a little recovery and then over the next six weeks are really going down guys all right so this looks like the magus card to me moving into the 12 o'clock hour so magus card broke through this is where we probably see a decline or there's a little bit of a move higher but this is definitely the magus card here so we should see some selling off of a high relatively soon if it's not here it'll be at one of these support levels maybe we poke through them Huh, interesting. Yeah, okay guys, so what's gonna happen is, we're gonna have a low. Major levels, 423 to 418-ish, 412 to 406-ish, 395 to 385-ish, 371 to 365-ish, 354 to 348-ish, 339 to 333-ish, and then 324 to 317, most likely the bottom in September, maybe possibly August as well. I should mark those levels on here. All right, but stay tuned. We're gonna have that sharp decline. Behavior at the high is the Prince of Wands. I believe I went over this this morning, but hey, let's do it again. It's a sudden, fast, big move higher, transitioning into volatile sideways movement, notable completion of a rally. So sudden, fast, big move higher, that could easily be it maybe not but it's possible we have the possibility setting up for it sudden fast big move higher transitioning into volatile sideways movement that does sound like what's about to happen what we're set up for we have the big high then we have a low Ooh, actually this is the high i'm pretty sure so we just poked through that it's, well, let's look at a one minute chart real quick our size pretty up there see that on a one minute chart 71 and we already tipped through so we kind of did like a back version so we are setting up for a decline on the one minute bars on the five minute bars looks like we got a little bit higher to go and then on the 10 minutes a little bit higher to go yet yet still so but we're very close to a high here guys very close to a high we may have some like real big move to scare us like through this 
to scare us into thinking that we're going higher. It's the devil card. It's literally uh, the devil card is telling me that there is a false something triggered. There's a false trigger of an indicator, like a false indication based on the triggering of some sort of like well-known indicator. And it could just be like breaking through a resistance level like right here and bouncing along it for a little bit. Remains to be seen. Like see that does look like it would go higher. Maybe it will, but this is the 200 day here on the five minute chart that it's just gone over. Maybe shoots a little bit higher just to make it look like, yep, we're good to go. But there will be off of this, whatever level this high reaches, there's gonna be a, a significant sell off to a low. After we have maybe just a little bit of sideways volatility after a sharp move higher. This looks like a sharp move higher to me, guys. And that would be the Ace of Swords. Yesterday's low was within this range here before post market, after post market. You know, when we look at the overview, we have that completion here and go bearish. I don't know, maybe we start out lower tomorrow. We have start out at a low tomorrow and then we move higher. There's going to be a significant low and a significant high tomorrow. I believe it's the month's low tomorrow possible. We shall see. But there's also a high. It's at least a local high. Huh, interesting. We may go a bit higher, actually. We may even go into the Prudence card. Like I said, it's difficult to know exactly with the Prudence card. Even when you get to it, it's a little tricky. It's not necessarily like an intended trick. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but you know, it's tricky. It usually means like a false high or a false low. In this case, it's actually looking like a false high, like we have a drop and then a higher high at the end of the day, but that remains to be seen. I'm gonna put a question mark there for the fact that it's kind of blurry for me to know what's going on in that moment. I generally try to stay away from trading around the Prudence card. Like if I have the opportunity not to place a trade on a day where there's a Prudence card, fantastic. No, um, we do have a low though. I, there's a low this out. I do see it. Ah, okay, so we have a low midday and that's a false low followed by a lower low around the 2 p.m. mark. And there you have it, folks stretch it out for you so you can really see. Look at this, people. Extreme sharp drop, boosh. Look at it on a 10 minute. Look at it on a 20 minute, a 30 minute, an hour, bang. So you can see right there, guys. There's that sell off. Look, look at this. High, low, high, high, low, high, low. I missed, I thought maybe it would go a little deep, deeper earlier in the day, but you know, you can't get it at all. Point is, I even knew we were gonna be at this range. If you go look at the early morning video, you'll see me say it closes right around the Ace of Swords. Somewhere in this level right here is where it would close. And then it's gonna sell off through that level strong, guys. So you can see, these are the moments when I made trades. A green star with a green outline means I bought a call, right? So I bought a 445 call, I bought 443 calls, like really, really near-term expirations for day trades. I rolled some of my puts, went up about here I bought a put sold most of the calls that I purchased there's a couple that I have to hold on to because they're cash accounts I don't want to get a good faith violation but some point tomorrow maybe midday the high is in the beginning of the day so probably here guys it's an ace I'll sell them they're just really cheap like just for a little extra money like I bought 20 bucks worth all the other stuff that I sold I basically doubled the amount of money that I had to buy puts with by buying those calls and selling those calls and then reinvesting them in the puts and look guys look at that look at that look at that look at the evidence go to the site and get rich